I am sure most of you would be wondering like what the hell is this? That is the biggest misconception that is associated with this particular skin condition. It's your body basically telling you that you have a pre-diabetic condition or in other words, your body has started developing insulin resistance. I know I'm pressing a panic button here, but it is better to get it confirmed first rather than taking a chance with it. Acanthosis nigricans. Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to PW Only IAS English channel. My name is Nikhil Ram and I'm here with a pretty much weird topic or rather a weird sounding topic. I'm sure most of you would be wondering like what the hell is this? Well, it's nothing that flabbergasting. It's just that it's a pre-diabetic condition. If you're actually know people who have these patches behind their neck or even if you know whether you have such patches under your arms, then you need to be a little careful. It's your body basically telling you that you have a pre-diabetic condition or in other words, your body has started developing insulin resistance. Generally, you can find this among children and young adults. And when I say children, please understand children as young as 10, 11, 12 years. The mistake that most parents make is they think that this is all about, you know, not taking bath properly or not being, not using the soap properly. It has nothing to do with hygiene. That is the biggest misconception that is associated with this particular skin condition. So, acanthosis nigricans is a dark, velvety, hyperpigmented patches in skin folds strongly associated with insulin resistance. That's your definition. Moving on. Classic sites are posterior neck, axillae, groin, under the breasts, may appear on elbows or behind the knees. Behind the neck, underarm, below the breast and the groin area. Sometimes it can itch or emit a foul odor from sweat accumulation because if you look at the earlier diagram also, as you can clearly see, it almost looks like somebody has made small, small cuts in the skin. And there when the sweat goes and accumulates, it does give a foul smell or sometimes it can itch or it can be both. Got the picture here. Taking it further forward. Most common causes are obesity-linked insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. Paraneoplastic AN is rare but should be suspected with sudden extensive onset in older adults. Paraneoplastic AN, when you say, it simply means cancer related. I know I am pressing a panic button here but it is better to get it confirmed first rather than taking a chance with it. Now the other thing that I wanted to tell is Cushing's and corticosteroids. So, Cushing's is basically again a body condition where your body has been exposed to too much of cortisol and that affects you. That can again create this condition. Only in last week's comprehensive current affairs class, I told you how work stress can actually also affect diabetes as well as if heat stress is there. If the climate change increases the global average temperature and the summer season becomes more and more intense, the number of people who actually consume juice or the carbonated drinks, that is also on the higher side, which has high levels of sugar in it. Getting the point here? Moving on. So, fasting glucose, HbA1c, fasting insulin and lipid profiles, these are some of the tests that can be conducted to ascertain whether the body has really developed it or not. And once that confirmation happens, the best thing to do is what? A weight loss, proper diet, taking the appropriate medications as recommended by your doctor, physician guidance for management, topical therapies, retinoids and creams and cleansers. That means after you start treating for your insulin, etc., now you can start applying the cream. Because as the diabetes level starts coming down, you can apply this cream and you'll slowly see these dark patches fading away. Procedural treatments, lasers, day procedures are also there. Symptomatic relief also you will get. That is, it is basically to, uh, what does it give the uh, benefit of all these treatment to the patient such that such symptoms will slowly, slowly come down. And to sum it up, AN as the visible marker, screen for pre-diabetes, make lifestyle interventions, follow-up and then referral. Alright people, so this was it. The series is all about bringing those most important topics which are important from both prelims and mains perspective. The diabetes related topic is a sure shot question for next year's health related question. It can come either in GS3 or it can come as a policy related question in GS2 or it can even come even in your GS Paper 1 Society. Alright, take care.